Gert Wilders is the leader of the Freedom Party in the Netherlands, a political group described as Islamophobic. The party performed well in the recent European elections. Wilders' anti-Islamic and anti-EU rhetoric seems to win over more and more Dutch people, mostly those who are scared about immigration and enlargement. Hero News interviewed Wilders in a bunker-like meeting room of the Dutch Parliament in The Hague. That was said to be for security reasons, because Wilders has been granted special protection. This due to his controversial anti-Quran movie and provocative anti-Islamic speeches. Dear to Wilders, welcome to Euro News. Are you concerned for the future of Europe? I'm very concerned of the future of Europe. Um, I believe Europe is a beautiful continent um, with strong countries, but unfortunately because of the um, influx of the mass immigration um, and the Islamization of our societies, I'm afraid that um, at the end of the day um, it will cost us um, our freedom. So indeed, yes, um, um, I'm very concerned. Why do you think that uh, Islam is a threat to Europe? What, what is yeah. really, what is worrying you for yes. this? Well, let me first say that I make a um, distinction between the ideology, the religion, Islam, and the people. I have nothing against Muslims. I have nothing against people. I have a problem with the Islamic ideology. I believe it's a totalitarian ideology, that it should not be compared so much with other religions, but with other totalitarian ideologies, like communism um, or fascism. And um, there is no room in the Islamic ideology for anything else but um, Islam, and this is what I think that we should really um, um, fear. Don't you think that uh, to say that Islam is uh, a totalitarian ideology is uh, dangerous from just from uh, a philosophical, intellectual point of view? Because we see that Iran, for instance, is fighting for uh, more democracy, and they are Muslim. No, once again, people. I have nothing against people, and, and there are, and I acknowledge that there are moderate people who call themselves Muslims, so there are moderate Muslims. But and we should invest in moderate Muslims, but I don't believe in a moderate Islam. I don't think that like uh, Christianity and, and the Old Testament and the New Testament and separation of church and state and an enlightenment in the last um, um, centuries, that this will ever happen um, to the Islam. So I think we should not invest or believe in the European or moderate Islam. But of course, um, we should invest in people and we should invest in democracy. How should you separate the concept of Islam as a whole, that you say, which you say is a totalitarian ideology, a religion, and a single, the single Muslim that you say it could also be a moderate? I admit that the majority of the Muslims in our Western society today are not extremists, and they are not terrorists, they are normal people like you and me, and I believe um, um, that there's nothing wrong with that. But I also believe that even though the majority of those Muslims in the Western societies today are not extremists or terrorists, that if we would get more of the mass immigration, we get also more of the Islamic culture and the Islamic identity and the Islamic ideology in our societies, and then our societies will change. We will have what we are witnessing in the United Kingdom today, um, 85 Sharia courts uh, functioning where a women is less worth uh, than a man, uh, where um, homosexuals um, should be killed. I mean, this kind of anti-democratic law, which is Sharia, is part of the Islamic ideology, is exactly what is happening in Europe today. You said once that uh, the Muslim people who want in Europe uh, to implement Sharia uh, must leave Europe. Uh, do you agree? Do you still agree with this uh, statement? I think Sharia, the implementation of Sharia, is the end of the democracy. If you believe in Sharia, you believe that um, apostates, that everybody who is not a Christian should either be a demitut and should be living under the rule of, uh, of Muslims or either should be killed. The same goes for women or homosexuals. They will have a, a terrible way of life in a, sh in, a, in a society where Sharia is implemented. So I really do believe that if you um, are in a country and you are, a, uh, are in favor of the um, implementation of Sharia, um, and that there is very um, little for you to do. It means that you believe that women are 
uh, worth uh, less, uh, half of even more or less uh, than men. Sorry, but no, the, the, Sharia Isla law the, the, is very clear. The UK Islamic Court uh, are not uh, hanging homosexual. No, but they are. Um, they are uh, ba uh, having a law based on the Quran, and if we start. Um, 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 acting like you are suggesting now, if we start saying that hey, it's only about private law and it's not real about the penal code, so please let us allow this only part of Sharia in our societies, I will tell you that there will be a next step and there will be another step. So I think that we should say no Sharia in our Western free European and other societies because if we allow step A, how innocent it might look, and I believe it's not innocent at all that there will be a next step and another step and the political elite in the European societies will allow it for political correct reasons because they are cultural relativists. They believe that all cultures are equal. Gordon Brown, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, is the biggest coward of Europe. When he sent me away when I wanted to enter the, European, the United Kingdom just to show a movie and to have a discussion in the House of Lords. This is the kind of leaders that we have in Europe today and they should be removed and replaced that's a problem more brave of leaders. public order at home also for the British only I think, in the United uh, Kingdom um, um, he decided not because there was any threat because it was not like I said I visited many countries for the same reason I was welcomed in a very positive way but the Prime Minister of um, the United Kingdom was afraid that somebody came and spoke against his views said something nasty according to him about Islam and he feared that there, and there was pressure from Islamic um, uh, people from the House of Lords so he gave in he gave in he gave up he um, he played again the Chamberlain of Europe of 2009 uh, you are against Turkey joining the European Union for sure many federalists are against Turkey joining the European Union because they say that it will dilute the European Union the idea of federal Europe will disappear so you should be in favor of the of Turkey joining the European Union uh, I'm against a federal uh, Europe I want us to stay independent and Holland and only cooperate in the economic framework and I'm against the joining of Turkey I have nothing against Turkey it's a very respected ally um, uh, within NATO and, and a good friend of the Dutch people, but I believe it's, um, it's not a member of the family. A good neighbor is not the same as being a member of the family, and it's an Islamic country. Uh, we will not only pay a very high price when it comes to uh, all the cost, all the money that we we'll have to pay to Turkey, but it's an Islamic country and we will get even more immigration to our societies, which is the last thing that we should need. Should you open the door to Ukraine, for instance? No, I think um, um, that no other country should join Europe. I'm even in favor of Romania and Bulgaria to leave the European Union. I voted, my party voted against the ratification treaty and the Dutch parliament for the accession of Romania, Romania and Bulgaria. We think Why? that, um, What's the well, because, that? Uh, because first, the Dutch people believe that Europe is large enough they are against any more countries joining, and I share their view. We should have a smaller Europe with little, more little tasks than an enlargement Europe with even more influence, so we are against that. And secondly, um, I believe that well, those countries were not ready at all, were very um, um, unready and very uh, corrupt uh, as well.